Hello everybody, welcome to Star Wars Conquest, the Mountain Blade mod. Uh, Mountain Blade Warband, and this is the remastered version. This is different from the last version we played. The last version we played was, I believe, a 0 0.9 or something like that. That it, It's not remastered, and it, had, it was more or less just a port from the original Mountain Blade mod. Uh, they fixed a bunch of the issues, but at the same time, there's still some issues. I haven't had any crashing issues yet, which I'm, I'm really glad for. But uh, some droid parts are unavailable. You can't get the B1, B2, or BX Commandos uh, armor for yourself at the moment. You can still hire the droids, but you just can't have it for yourself at the moment, unfortunately. Um, there are some other minor bugs that I'm, I'm sure the developers will get around to fixing. But in the meantime, my goal for this campaign is going to be a clone trooper fighting for the Rebellion. Uh, the primary goal of the series will be to retake the home world of Kamino. How we go from there will be dependent upon you guys in the comments or by simply liking the videos. Um, alternatively, if you want to have us swap over to an Imperial series as a clone trooper, let me know in the comments, as the clones had fought for either. Um, if I were to switch to the Imperial one, though, that would require me restarting the series as I'd need to make a new character as you cannot just bail out of the war once you start because of how the game mechanics have worked out for this. Like, it just, just like the Rebellion can't make peace with the Empire. Um, in the meantime, though, uh, let's get started. Okay, welcome in. Um, I have made my character. He is a clone trooper by the name of Epsilon. At the moment, we just have the stock clone armor and a... A280, that's just the stock blast you start with. As soon as I can find one, I'm going to switch to a DC-15S or a DC-15A, depending on what I can find. Uh, we're starting out independent because I've found that if you start with factions, it just makes your life a lot harder. And generally, the factions will ask you to join them pretty quick. It doesn't take a whole lot. Uh, in the meantime, I will quickly show off what I was talking about regarding the uh, droid parts change. You used to be able to talk to this person and get BX Commandos and B1s, but at the moment, all there is is the 3PO, the HK, the IG, and the LOM series. There's The other ones are absent at the moment. But they also made it now so you can just get droid units direct from him. So, there's also the B3 Cortosis droids, which is an, it's an interesting concept. Okay, uh, talk to this guy. I don't have much in the way of credits at the moment, but the gear I'm going for will be, you know, DC-15S, DC-15A, and probably the Arc Trooper armor for my Epsilon Commander. I'm going to go with a green color palette, I believe. Maybe not, because some of these armor values are different, depending on the color. I think that's due to rank, but we will see when we get there, as I cannot afford those. I only have 200 credits to my name. Epsilon did not get a very good check from the Republic. So at the moment, we're kind of limited due to our ship here not being too good. Um, for now, though, I'm going to grab some Republic fighters, some Republic recruits to assist me if we find any bandits. Well, I say bandits. Tuscans or Jawas or... Case in point, Jawas! Uh, I'm going to fight on the ship. We are outnumbered here, but they are Jawas, so we should be able to handle it. I'm going to have them pull back, though. Hold on back. Hold on back. Get some distance, because they will just melee rush you. Be gone! Before you ask why I'm not blocking, this is, counts as a dagger, so you physically cannot block with it. So your only option really is to spam swing.
trying not to go down to jaw was in episode one. <laughs> oh god. Oh, this is embarrassing. Come on, spread, work with me here. There we go. <laughs> that took some doing. Uh, all my guys didn't die. I can't even take the prisoners because my ship's not good enough. But I can take all of this. I'm not going to bother taking the gloves or the batons as they are worth basically nothing. Uh, let's head to Kashyyyk. And go ahead and sell it off. Still don't think I'll be able to afford the blasters I want. Yeah, they're pretty expensive. Even the rusty one is a thousand credits. Um, let's get some more volunteers from Bimmel, I suppose. Which went majority of my money, unfortunately. Here is our war goal of sorts. We're going to try to take Camino and then go from there. Um, in the meantime, let's see here. For now, we're just going to build up, try to get some strength, try to figure out, try to get our equipment, all that. You know, all that general stuff before we truly get into retaking our planet. You have to start somewhere, you know. Uh, for now, we'll just keep looking around to see if we can't find any more bands of Jawas or Tusken Raiders or something along those lines. Maybe in Black Sun, but those are a little difficult to kill at the moment. As most of my men are recruits, I can't upgrade a couple of them to cadets, though, which I will do. It does put me a little low on cash, but that's more or less the start of every warband. Warband playthrough. Smuggler's hideout there. That's the other thing they added back in, is they added in the hideout mechanics. I haven't tested them yet, but it is cool that those are back in now. So it's a little opportunity in case you can't find any bandits to hit them. I'm not going to hit one yet, because I don't know if my troops should actually be able to take it. Uh, let's keep patrolling around these Imperial worlds for the time being. Nothing. Out the Bastion and Helska, maybe. Yep. Imperials are raiding Belkadon. Uh, Stabrillion, Dantooine, and its outposts. Oh, what we got here? Ah! Help the patrol fleet against these Blazing Claw pirates. Just tell me, man, just to charge. Taking cover won't really save us here. In melee, my men will lose. That's just a factoid here. Blast them to the best of my ability, try not to hit any friendlies. Okay, they're down. Blast that Nikto. That was Nikto. Yeah, that was Nikto. Okay. Not too bad. Uh, still can't take any prisoners. Didn't get too much good stuff out of that. Uh, fiber blade, chip fiber blade, combat knife. It's worse. So. Yeah. Also DL-44, but I'm not running with blaster pistols. As there's no DC-15 little, little arc blaster, so I won't be using that. Uh, I get a little bit of power strikes, more athletics, some looting to try to get us some more stuff out of each of these combats, boost my aiming skill, and let's go sell what I managed to more or less just kind of steal from those guys. Okay, let's continue on. Head out toward Taurus. Nothing there. Yavin 4. 
Corvette also looks is also in here, and now it's just white. I don't know what that's about. You, you can only land on the planet, and it's not owned by anyone, so I'm unsure what that is all about. But for now, just focus on going around. I'd like to get a starship as soon as possible, but even some of the easy, even the most basic ones are like seventeen grand. Sheesh, that was loud. <laughs> Even the most basic fighters are, um, like 17 grand, you know. I swear I clicked fight on ship. Must have missed it. I don't know we're fighting on DAC or, uh, Mon Cala, depending on which species is talking. Which is really weird to fight Tuscans on Mon Cala, like polar opposite of where you can see a, Mon a Tuscan. Okay, get off. Get off. Cycler rifles hurt. I'm trying to blast as many as possible to save my men from getting in the melee combat. I mean, probably won't survive. Okay. Took some casualties there, and I actually got quite hurt. <laughs> but we managed to win the battle, which is good. Yeah, those psych rifles do 30. It's only slightly less than mine. Sheesh. Let's get all those gaffy sticks and whatnot. That was a gaffy stick. Compared to mine. Yeah, it's about the same. Worst thrust damage. Except the gaffy staff, which I think I'll take the Gaffy Staff for the time being, as it uses Blunt, which would be perfect for prisoners once I can start taking them. Uh, for now, I'm going to spend the credits on upgrading those guys and then investing it back into myself here. More looting. More rifle aiming skill. So yeah, these first couple of episodes are mainly just going to be me grinding out to get enough credits to basically get everything I need. There's all that. Like, you getting this would be perfect, but that's like five grand, so that's going to take a while. Uh, yeah, there's no real cheap light. I also like how there's just baseball bat. <laughs> this is 30 blunt, so it's not terrible, but... Okay. Let's resume here. I don't believe Lothal is actually a near duck, but... Not terribly worried about that. Pretty sure I just hit max cap on party. Yep. Uh, let's upgrade these guys to fleet troopers for the time being. Just to have some more elite-ish infantry. Uh, I'll start tangling with the Imperials at some point soon. I just like to start off independent because you'll get invited pretty quick, regardless, because they might have to turn their voices down if they're that loud every time. Let's fight on the ship here. Go, go, go. Okay, that's that's a lot for me to deal with. Using their own weapons against them. Uh... I do like this, like, helmet HUD thing that you get. It's kind of cool. I think it only applies if you are wearing a helmet. Okay, not too bad. 
I took seven wounded and two killed, which is unfortunate, but I also killed all 16 of them. With seven of them being wounded, but I still can't take prisoners, so. Let's just grab all the loot stuffs. I also find it weird for the Tuscan helmet thing, because you always think of that as, like, their physical head, but it's not. It's a wrapping, but... Yeah, it's a weird thought. Oh, oh this this is going to be interesting. Fifteen versus these guys, but at the same time, these guys are much more elite Imperial troops. I have a bad feeling about this. Yeah, my troops are getting slaughtered. Oops, sorry, friendly. They have better equipment than we have. <laughs> Ow, that hurt. Another one down. Another one down. Yeah, okay. Whew. That was kind of brutal. Seven of my guys were killed and two of them were wounded. Killed all ten of the enemy. Should I swap to that for the time? No, the mine does more damage. At least their equipment should be worth a decent penny. ship doesn't have a very good cargo hold, so I can't even hold all of it. So let's go to Serapin and get all this unloaded. All this random junk. 980 odd credits. I will take it. Uh, it's still a little out of the... Pr I could probably afford that, but then I might not be able to make the next payment for my troops, which would be very, very bad. Okay, how am I doing troop-wise? I got some. I am going to upgrade them, though. I need troops that can fight. Uh, put my intelligence and charisma here. Let's in get so a little bit of prisoner management here so I stop having to, you know, murder all of them. <laughs> Um, let's see here. Cargo management. Uh, I suppose even more looting. And then more more rifle skill. Uh, let's chill on Serapin for a night so I can regen some of that health I lost in that battle because I took a lot of damage. Okay. For a rotation, excuse me. <laughs> Alrighty. Oh, hello, deserters. I have 11 against their 14. That's not great. Okay, boys, take take some cover over there. We're gonna have to drag them in. Because these guys aren't as elite as Nova Troopers, but there are more of them than there are of us. cover still. Get him, cadet, get him! Yeah, I didn't get him. Oh, scout got him, though. Okay, that's more casualties. Not great. Four of mine were killed. Slightly worse than mine. Grab all this stuff. Not gonna bother with the gloves, as they're not worth basically anything. Kind of more just a waste of inventory space. Uh, let's upgrade who I still have. Make them better at being able to fight. Uh, put a point in leadership. Why not? 
Go in the boo to sell off this junk. Okay, now I should be within my means to afford a basic DC-15. It is, it will be worse than my blaster damage-wise, and only marginally better accuracy-wise, though. But it can technically fire a little faster. I might save for DC-15A then. Now I look at it. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'll save for DC-15A. Um, oh, there is looted. Let's go to no, your power is looted as well. A note, a note. I think it is. Uh, just go recruit some more men to make up for the casualties I took. There we go. And there's some. Ooh, that's more than I thought it was. Oh, that that this is this is going to go badly. Not good. All right, everybody over there, over there, over there, over there, over there. There's going to be a lot of hangar fighting for a little bit, as some of the planets are a little buggy. Uh-oh. Concerned that that would have been a very bad situation. Oh, he had Mando armor. That's why it took a minute. <laughs> oh goodness. Okay. Um. Let's just take some Black Sun elites and Black Sun pirates. Get the item pool, and then we'll wrap up the episode. As I am running out of time here. Uh, we will continue in the next episode and keep working toward getting into the rebellion while also making sure we get plenty of cash to work with. Torquemina!